there was a bit of a delay, but we finally have Drawing People's OCs and Wings of Fire Part 4. Our first OC is Paper Wasp, a hive wing leaf wing hybrid. I really enjoyed drawing him, especially the little scarf he has on. I know he doesn't look like a hybrid, I often forget that when looking at the models for the game, so I'll try to get better at that. At least this time I finally drew the hive wing's wings right. And here's the finished product. I added stripes onto the scarf because I think it looked good. I think it turned out great. This is Rain of the Rain Wings and the Night Wings. I think this morph pulls off the rainbow really well. That's all I really have to say about this one. Just enjoy the speed paint. And here's the final product. I really like the way the pastel wings turned out. How about you? This is Solana. They're a fan tribe. Not really sure which one, though. I feel like their head's too big, but, like, it's too late to go change that now. And here's the finished product. I think this one turned out pretty well. I really like the underbelly fades. This is Bliss of the Sandwings. She is a reincarnation of Queen Blister, one of the three Sandwing princesses. And here's the finished art piece. I really love the way the wing patterns turned out. I really like this guy. He's called the Lassophobia, which is the fear of the ocean. I really like the way the pointy teeth look on this one. This is Derecho of the Skywing. I really like this person's morph design. I really enjoyed drawing the little marking under the eye on this one. Our final OC is the reincarnation of freedom, rest in pepperonis. Fun fact, I actually finished the Flames of Hope on an airplane. And here's the finished product. I added a head marking for fun. Freedom was and still is one of my favorite characters in Wings of Fire. Alright, let's cut to the chase on how to obtain these if you are the owner. Okay, so let's say I'm trying to obtain this OC. His name is Cutworm and he's mine, don't take him. I'd go to the YouTube video and take myself an innocent screenshot. Then I'd simply upload him wherever I wanted him, like let's just say procreate, and then I can do whatever I want with him. That's all for today, I'll see you next time I decide to lose my sanity and make another one of these.